Demon just got out of can. I gave my bro in advance. Okay, guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So, oh, yes, I'm still here. Don't worry. I've been off the face of the earth, I think, for about a month. I'm getting messages bombarding me saying, Luke, where have you been? What's going on? You put up a new job about, well, you put a video up about your new job and you did a POV and that was it. Game over. You're pretty much gone. I'm not gone. There is a reasonable explanation for all of that, but I will explain that in a minute. Well, not in a minute, but it'll be in a minute for you guys on the camera itself, um, in which I'm just at George's house at the minute. GCM the PT. It's been a while. I haven't seen George in ages fully, like properly, like I am now and spend some decent time with him. And we're going to be filming a video in just a second. So before you go ahead and carry on watching this video, Video, just go check out the channel quickly go see what it's about um, and you'll see you will see me featured in the channel later on if this video goes up first um go do all this obviously but well i mean do it anyway but, um i was gonna go up first and quickly see george's car because it's been mad time since i've seen it he's done loads of bits um he's also got bucket seats down here which he's gonna be fitting soon he's just waiting for the rails and everything to turn up so he can do that but let's just grab his keys go check it out um show you guys around it because you just you know i'm a focus st fan i used to have one myself oh there's fancy keys got going on here. That definitely is not a standard Mark II for XST. Oh, mate, trying to do this one handed is always a nightmare, lads. So, here we go. GC and the PC, also known as George, is Focus ST. It's been a while since I've actually seen this. I think the last time I've seen it, it didn't have these wheels on it. Um, like, properly, anyway. It didn't have these wheels on it. Um, other things George's done, I believe, is completely stripped it out in the back. I think he's just literally got a sub. Yeah, he's got a sub here now. It's probably better to look at it from this angle, I think. Let me. So in the back, as you can see right here, stripped out. Um, George is just getting ready. Hi. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, George is getting ready to obviously put everything. Uh, uh, so what, he's going to take that amp out, take the sub out. Um, he's going to have his bucket seats in here, obviously. He's got his quick release steering wheel. Awesome wheel itself over here, which is a uh, Momo steering wheel. And it's actually like, it's in like a go golem... I've never actually seen a wheel like this, but it's like, it's sort of like it's custom in a way. I know George paid a lot for this. It's a very expensive wheel. And I'm not even going to attempt to put this on because I know I'm just going to mess it up putting the wheel on. But I'll leave that one up there. Like, so. I actually mess, you know, being back sat in one of these cars. Um, George, if you're actually wondering as well what these are over here, this is um, Road Angel. So George has been doing like a sort of series on this sort of stuff. It's a company that sends out, uh, what does like, you know, like safety camera things. I don't know huge much about it. But they basically, um, this device, I think, over here tells you everything, like if there's any speed cameras, like traffic cops, um, cameras at traffic lights, like all of that stuff. It's amazing. It's basically pre warns you if you want to go. I mean, not that everyone goes speeding in the car anyway, and you shouldn't. I don't advise speeding. That's a pretty cool thing to have, especially in your car. So if you want to go check that out, uh, George has done a few series on that. So I will leave a link in the description down below where you can check that sort of video out. Look at this. Custom little gear. No, I swear, I swear, I swear you had your GCM and PT one, didn't you? Yeah, I do. That's a show one. So that that, well, that one's wrapped in carbon, but this one is ah, chunky. Ah, and you've got a new because one. Because it's heavier. It makes I like this because that there. bit at the bottom is actually really cool. Honestly, it's, the, the gear chain, that being so weighty. Because you've got a short shifter in as well, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. So it's like really like... Oh I'll God. tell you what, the short shifter Dude. in the ST is rubbish in comparison to what it was in really? the R26. That's awesome. Your little blue lights going on here. On the front, if you guys haven't seen... George has got his new uh, stick on plate right there. I think it works a lot better on these cars, especially when you get like a photo from this angle, because look at that, that's, that's thumbnail, thumbnail material right there. That is sick thumbnail material. But yeah, I don't know where George gets this from. George, where did you get it from? Uh, which one? The, uh, so this, the this one number here. plates are from Chase Lane plates. Chase Lane plates. It says at the bottom just there. You can oh, yeah. There you go. So that's where you get these plates from. Got these cool green lenses. What do these look like? Uh, that's a company called the Foglight Guy. They look good. Instagram. They look really cool. They come in quite a few. We have a show. Cars. So we've got the Zon Sport grill. I have not seen that before. That definitely looks awesome. I think what you should do, George, is paint the window and call it black. Uh, paint the window and call it black. Yeah. Put the logo in white. So yeah. Like, that would look so sick. I feel like maybe get a different like, gel overlay for this front back. Yes, we're going to do all of that. That'd be cool. That. Another cool thing, I forgot to mention that George has coming in, is his own sun strips coming in soon. So he's got the black Ford Performance one at the minute, but he is bringing out his uh, merch now, which is going to be sick. So when that comes out, I will drop it on my Insta feed and everything else like that. Still, you're keeping the wheels, George. Are they going? I'm keeping the wheels for the time being. They're going to get fabricated. Yeah. Oh, man, it makes... Some, uh... I've got some semi sticks going on my car as well, so it's going to chew through my drive shaft even more. Sick. But yeah, there's so much, honestly. There's so much. It just makes me miss my ST now because you're doing this. You're doing such a good job at like. So much has been done. It's so it. subtle. It's, it's not like. It's not literally it's like. like an bay. It's not like going like OTT. It's actually looking really nice now, especially with like the low line kit you've got going on. I remember I had that on mine. It just definitely sets it off, especially. 
that diffuser. Yeah, George's got loads more things coming, like BC coilovers. He's having his drive shafts sorted out because you know what these are like when they when they get lowered and you have you know your drive shafts whilst being lowered. They like, set an angle where it keeps a lot of strain on the bearing, like George was saying earlier. Like I said, this is really nice. So oh, Dorenza strut bar looks really nice. I know George has been working a lot of Dorenza quite recently, actually. This looks really clean. You just need to get a clean up. Clean them. It and then we are good to go and good to go you've got your boost pipes that's a fully stage four intercooler setup at the and that is uh like an rs holder in it rs yeah. ram air they come with the the group induction kit yeah um, sick done the rs um what it's called now rs backpack kit that's been done obviously yeah. you've got the air take crossover so it's all really nice and clean guys so if you want to see a sick well. mad clean st or any content being done on a mark 2 fake st and you miss it from watching my content no i'm catching you up bro i'm going to overtake the channel george's shut up <laughs> george's um focus st is actually honestly a really good clean example and he's done pretty much it sounds like it sounds epic yeah actually yeah i'll go behind quickly to show him what it sounds like so what system was on it again at the minute? Um, Miltec non-res catback, downpipe and decat. Sick. But it's changing very soon. Awesome. Nice. I remember hearing this last time, it may sound like a bit quiet. But yeah, that, that definitely sounds. It's, it's a bit cold. Though. It's a bit cold. You're not going to get much from me. Because <laughs> it's got naves over here. Definitely sounds really good though. Maybe. Ames, I've seen it do his um, flames no, as well. Bangs, mad bangs for the boys. With any car, I'm sure you're hearing the habit as well. If you get your car tuned, add a new car, yeah. it's out of sync straight away. Yeah, good. So the crossover's actually not been mapped in. So you need to get everything pretty much done again. Yeah. And the guy who's actually in. mapped this car is Bevo as well. The, yeah. the one that obviously did my mini, um, he's mapped George's Focus ST as well. What brake horsepower was it mapped last time to? 313. 313. 400 foot pounds. 400 foot pounds. Now, one of George is over here chewing up his drive shafts. Yeah. But that is the Mad Focus ST, so check it out. Oh, okay, so obviously that is George's Ooh, straight into the door. We're going to go in now and talk about when the lighting gets good. A second, hold on. There we go, that's a little better. We're going to start talking about why I haven't really uploaded recently. So, I don't know if any of you know, if you've been watching my or following my personal Instagram account, I'm doing a lot of boxing at the minute. I just want him to get in a lot better shape. I want to maybe, hopefully next year, have a fight or two. It'll be good. I'm really enjoying it at the minute. If you want to check it out, it's on my personal account. I'll put all my uh, boxing stuff on. I think it's Luke Bourne at LBTV is my personal account. Leave a link in the description down below anyway. And um, that's one thing I'm mainly focusing on at the minute. And also the second thing is, I didn't really want to do much more with Civic at the minute because I want to kind of bring you a lot more professional, better content and um, I just feel like the Civic content's good and you lot are enjoying it, especially with the POV videos because they're not go they're not going away. I will be coming back with them. But I'll watch what I'm about to explain will, you know, bring in the POV videos. So Chris kindly as at Glow Motors, obviously where I'm gonna be working as of next month, um, has said that the cars that Chris gets in, um like recently we've just got in a modified uh, ST stage two and a modified ST uh, Fiesta ST that's stage three. We're just running about 340 brake horsepower. Absolute animal. Um, it's sold already though because we actually had it for about a day or two and then it's sold. Uh, but that he's going to let me re basically review cars like that. I'm going to and the way I'm going to do it is that I'm going to have it. So I mean I know a lot of you are going to be able to do this a bit like Calvin's car diary. It might be. Yeah, I understand where you come from there, guys. But I'm going to do it a lot more based on point of view. So you can, it's going to be a lot more point of view videos of you seeing what it's like with me getting in the car. And then it's sort of in a way, yes, I might be selling the cars onto you guys on YouTube. But um, it's not because I want to get in it as if it was you. And you can actually see how it would be to drive. You're not going to get that sensation of feeling it, obviously. But it's going to get the angles, going to get the looks. I'm going to give you the exhaust sounds, the drive-bys, the awesome cinematics. I just want to come back and start off, you know, sort of fresh in a way and have something sick that you're all going to want to sit down and watch maybe in the afternoon or even after you finish work or in the morning, wherever you are, whenever you are. I want it to be something that you can sit down and fully engage in and watch. I know a lot of my videos recently, people have been saying I've watched it for about a minute and I don't really want to watch it anymore. I can understand where you come from there because even I watched back and on some of my videos and I was a bit like, mm, yeah, it's not really that engaging. Um, and I want to engage with you guys more. So... There you go, that's pretty much the reason why boxing and obviously me coming back to working with Chris, which I am still buzzing over the moon about. We're gonna bring in, be bringing in so many modified hot hatches and well, not just hot hatches, many, so many modified cars. I said to Chris, look, I think we should just sell modified cars because the people are gonna love to see it. It's gonna expand global more and um, it's just gonna be an all-rounder, better 
for us and it's going to help me out um, it's going to help you guys out because you get to see so much so many more different cars which i think you know is it's just in my opinion it's a lot better to do because i don't be, bang, be banging out the same car it'd be nice obviously i know some of you will miss and i, w I will personally miss doing bits to like my car and I, I will do it in the future um i think to start off with it's just going to be more professional based videos and me showing you car showing you guys cars driving them getting a feel for them as to if you should buy these cars and things like that because um i just want to get a better experience and um hopefully next year i'll probably be getting another car but this time now with my wage and the company I'm working with in and stuff like that, I'm going to be having a sick car and I've got it pretty much lined up and planned at the minute. But I'm not going into mad details. I'm not rushing or anything at the minute. I'm happy where I am. So I'm leaving the video there, guys. If you have enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a, film. <laughs> make sure you give it a thumbs up. Check out my social media and George's. It's all in the description down below. Uh, make sure you like this video, smash the like button because um, I want you all to give down in the comments down below your feedback on what you think of this as well. As like I said, I do YouTube mainly, or I do actually, I do YouTube because I want to keep you guys happy. I don't do it for like the money earning side or anything like that. I just do it because I actually like doing it and like my earnings have not been good at all. And I'm not, that's not even a reason why I just want to do videos because. So I think one thing to add in guys is that a lot of you tend to not tend to pick up on is that we have to work full time. So me and Luke are doing six days a week. We don't have unlimited time to make videos, edit videos, process, render, fix potential mistakes engage with you guys, work and lead the social life as well. I am ginger. So I think what, what Luke's fuck? getting at is that regarding the money, we're not in a position where we can do it for the money. Because yeah. Our main earner is our job. So until YouTube puts us in a position where we don't need to prioritize that, you're going to have to support us along the way, guys. So honestly, we, we thank you so much for supporting both of us, especially Luke, his channel's absolutely killing it. Mine is on the way up, but honestly, thank you. Just bear that in mind. We'll see you guys in the next video anyway. LBTV, thank you very much for coming over. No problem. Don't forget to go smash, smash like, let me know think in the comments and subscribe for his more awesome content. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, boys and girls. Yeah. Ready? Sorry. About to say bye, and you literally have an egg timer going off. I'm wrapping up it. That's it. Um, George just had it in one hit, really, guys. Just listen back to um, what he said. Um, he's George. George is actually really good when it comes to being good with his viewers. Um, he's completely different to me in a sense at which he's um, like, not saying I don't respect you guys because I really do respect you guys. I'm a little George, bit more open. George is a lot more open. I think I go in too much sometimes being too involved with the video instead of worrying about your guys' comments and stuff like that, whereas George is always responding to comments and things like that. So that's another thing I hopefully do in the future. Make sure you know, I, I engage with you guys more in the comments and like you know react to your comments and videos and stuff like that. So you're probably gonna wanna see that. You wanna know, you're gonna want to know that I'm here watching, like listening to you guys as well. Luke's actually a really nice guy. Yeah. He's just uh... there. Yeah, guys, anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna wrap the video up because we're gonna keep blabbing on, but thanks for watching the video. I'll see you on the next one, bye for now.